What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Texans. It's my predicted lineup for RB Salzburg versus Chelsea in the Champions League. Let's get into my lineup. I'm going to stick with the three at the back formation. Even though it started off poorly against Manchester United, I think we'll go back into it. So in goal, I'm going to go with Kepa. Again, it's just a bit of a shame he conceded that goal. Right centre-back, Trevor Chalobah. Again, very, very solid against Manchester United. Central centre-back, Thiago Silva. We, you saw how much he was important in that United game as we needed him. Left centre-back, Koulibaly. I think he will be back for this game. Potter did say that he was out of the Manchester United game due to a knee problem. Right wing-back, Asper Equator. Like, yeah, I didn't think he was that bad against Manchester United. Everyone, you know, there's always these people have these agendas against Asper Equator. I don't like it. Two midfielders, I'm going to go with Kovacic and Georgina. I think Ruben will be out for this game. I think Potter said he wanted to change the team up because the players didn't play much on Saturday. So Jorginho and Kovacic. Kovacic did come on up for Kukurea after Potter saw a chance to switch the formation. Left wing back, Mark Kukurea. I think it might have been Chilwell that maybe lost um, Casemiro. Make sure he scored on Saturday. It's not my reason why I'm dropping him. It's just because Potter said we're with the rotation and we've got Brighton after the Salzburg game. And the two attacking midfielders are going to go Mason Mount, who, who was very good, I thought, against Manchester United. To put in hard work, as he usually does. And on the left, I'm going to go with Christian Pulisic. I really want to see him get a start. Sterling hasn't been great recently. And up front, I'm going to stay with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Maybe had his worst game for Chelsea against United, but I still see Potter sticking with him. So let's get on to the opposition side of things. So our opponents, RB Salzburg, in their last game, they drew 0-0 against Stormgrad. They did get a red card, drop points in their league. In their last five games, they beat Admira 6-1 in the cup, which is very, very good. And before that, they beat Astrid Vienna 3-1. The last time out in the Champions League, they drew 1-0 with Dinamo Zagreb, which has actually put us in control of this group. And then before that, they beat AH 3-2. And before that, because when they played double, which is double games against the same team in the Champions League, they beat Dinamo 1-0. And if we win this game, we will be going through. Our top scorer is Junior Adamu with six goals and one assist in 11 games. He did get three in one of the last games that he played. And a danger player, Noah Okafor, who did score against us at Stamford Bridge when we drew 1-1 in Graham Potter's first game. He's got five goals, one assist in 11 games in the league this season. Playing away against RB Salzburg will be very, very hard as their home record is very, very good. So guys, my store prediction for this game, I think we will win 2-0 away at Salzburg. I see uh, Bamiang scoring and Christian Pulisic and just keeping a clean sheet, which that hasn't been a problem. It's just been the attack. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya.